First of all, I Saw the Devil is one of my favorite movies. It's a South Korean horror thriller. It's brutal, visceral, and at times beautiful. The violence is intense and gory. The acting and shot composition is top notch. Even the fights are well choreographed. This is a story about a man out for well-deserved revenge, only to slowly become the monster he has been chasing all along. We open with our main protagonist's wife on a snowy road with a flat tire. Today is her birthday. Her husband can't be with her. He works a little too hard, but obviously loves her very much. She is approached by someone asking if she needs help. She is picked up by our antagonist. This man is a cold, unfeeling, uncaring monster that shows no remorse or sympathy to anyone. Despite her reluctance and multiple attempts to turn him down, he abducts her and does horrible things to her. This is also when we find out that she is pregnant. Her husband finds out right away when she is discovered because he works for the police. Luckily, it turns out that his father-in-law is the chief of police. So since they both want revenge, he lines up a list of possible suspects for our protagonist to track down. He, uh, interrogates them, but don't worry, these people are absolute scum too, so no need to feel bad for them. He does eventually track down the killer's family. He sits down with his mother and figures out that yes, in fact, this is the killer when he searches his room and finds his wife's wedding ring. He tracks the killer down to confront him and catches him about to rape and murder another girl. This is their first confrontation. It's a brutal fight and our protagonist almost kills him, but he is not a murderer. Instead, he decides to keep an eye on him by forcing the killer to swallow a tracking device. Immediately following this, he gets picked up by two guys while he is hitchhiking that just so happen to want to kill whoever they pick up. He makes short work of them in a fantastically brutal kill. His arm is injured during the car attack, so he goes to a small doctor's office where he immediately starts harassing the doctor and nurse. 
He then forces the nurse into a back room to attempt to rape her as well. Our protagonist is aware of what's going on, so here comes confrontation number two. This scene is even more brutal than the last because of this ankle shot. But, he lets him go again. Now I think our protagonist is starting to enjoy the hunt, abandoning the killer on a rooftop parking garage. Knowing that he is being tracked but not knowing how, he has no choice but to hide and wait. So he meets two of his friends. They turn out to be murderous cannibals. Our protagonist soon arrives and dispatches both of them. He beats the killer until near death for the third time. This time he thinks he killed him and is starting to see the monster he is becoming. As our protagonist is in the hospital, he is shocked to find out that the killer is still alive. Since he is still alive, well then our protagonist is not done with him yet. He leaves him to wake up in a tunnel so he can start the chase again. This time he may have underestimated the killer because he knows where he lives and is now going after his father-in-law. This next scene is rather hard to watch because of the brutality done to an elderly man. After this, the killer tries to turn himself in because he knows the protagonist won't stop, and he thinks he has already won. But the protagonist is not going to let it end that easily. He takes him back to where it all began, where his wife was killed. All he wants now is for him to feel sympathy or empathy or even regret, but there is none to be had. The killer feels nothing. All there is to do is put an end to him. After torturing him, he forces the killer to put a rope in his mouth. The rope is attached to the door and from there to a blade. Then when the killer's family smashes the door open, it kills him, effectively making his family kill him. Now, as our protagonist walks away, he breaks down, realizing that he has become the monster that he was chasing all along, and his revenge will never bring his wife back. Okay, so this is my first properly edited video, if you can say that. I will be doing more movies, mostly horror, some conspiracy theories, and video game stuff. So if you want to see any of that, then please subscribe and thank you for watching.